Just getting things set up over here. All right, I thought I would do kind of a holiday palette today because Christmas is almost here. So I think I'm gonna do some reds and some gold, which I don't know that I've done a red and gold before. There's almost always yellow. So I'm gonna use some yellow ochre too. Course black and white. Can everybody hear me okay? Just type yes in the chat if you can hear me. Or better yet, type your name so I can say hello. Just keeping this super, I'm trying to keep it very free and open. So that's my plan, we'll see how it goes. And I think I'm gonna start with some gold. If I can get this open. So this is a metallic gold. Um, it does shimmer. I'm not sure how much of it will be picked up, but I promise you that. So you can hopefully see that when I move around. It's not super opaque, especially when I put it on thin like this, but the shimmer will stay. So it kind of peeks from behind other things. Anybody traveling this weekend for the holiday? Or this week? Or if you're in the Midwest United States, are you attempting to travel? This blizzard coming? My brother and his girlfriend are going to be coming down, hopefully, from Madison, Wisconsin this weekend. And I'm really hoping that they don't get um, sidelined by the storm coming through. But there's only so much you can control, so I'm trying not to worry too much about it. June. 
Oh, thanks for letting me know about the sound. Now, June, do things usually shut down around the Christmas holiday? I was in London, gosh, it's been a long time, like 12 years ago. Um, we left the day after Christmas to come, and most things were still shut down through New Year's, which was different than it is in America because <laughs> everyone here is just trying to make as much money as they can, so a few places shut down, but... It was nice to see that everyone had some time with family, etc. Now, these chunks I have right here, that's just dried white paint. I'm using some white that I had out of my palette last night and some of it, the very top of it dried, which is not what I was looking for here. Hi Randy, North Carolina. How's the weather by you? It's usually so nice there. Not sure how this week is doing. what kind of composition I'm looking for here. I usually kind of wait until it's decided for me and it starts turning into something. I guess I'm loosely looking at a landscape but I'm remaining open to see what forms. Hi Laura! It's cold, it's cold Randy, oh no. It seems to be a theme around the U.S. this week. Hi, Laura. Thanks for joining. I have a bit of a cold, so sorry if you're hearing the cough drop in my mouth, but it's better than without the cough drop. <laughs> I'm not coughing on you guys. I don't normally do gold and I feel I'm feeling very fancy right now with the shimmer. Well, of course it's not shining through as much there anymore. It's like covered it all up. Oh thank you, Laura. You guys are so awesome to watch. <clears throat> I know I've talked about this before, but I started this YouTube channel last year in the spring, I think it was March, February or March, not knowing at all how it was going to turn out, and I've had so much fun, so I appreciate you guys watching. Just putting a bit more gold on here. Something interesting is going on. What to do next? I think I'm going to go with some crayons. So these are the non water soluble crayons. And I have some yellow ochre here too.
<laughs> Hi, June. You're so right. You're so right. As long as you've got um, enough art supplies, you can do anything. You'll be entertained for hours. I saw something today. It was a meme that showed the weather report. Um, and it basically had, you know, like the, you know, normally it has like eight to ten inches, five to six inches of snow, you know, two to three inches. But instead it had like two to three books, four to six books, and then, you know, six to ten books for the forecast of, this, of the blizzard. So the same is true with art supplies. If you've got enough art supplies, you're set. I agree. Premier white yellow ochre blend here. Hi, Curly T. It's nice to see you. How's it going? Just before this, I was working on the video I'm going to um, release on Sunday morning. And I went for kind of a Christmas palette. So I went all red and green. And black and white, of course. It is me. But it was kind of fun since I normally don't use those two colors together because it feels too Christmassy. Now that it was intentional, it didn't feel so wrong. Nice. Well, I'm glad you are having a chill day at work. Hi, Peggy. Nice to see you. Okay. decide if I should go with collage now and I think I will but I'm gonna blow dry first so hold on about staying subtle. I'm kind of liking this very different color palette. But I also like black and white. When in doubt collage, you're so right. It's basically my motto. And I must be in doubt a lot because I really like to collage. Alright, so maybe we can do some more of these subtler. Is it <laughs> is it subtle if it's black and white? I don't think so, but um, uh, you know, not quite as bold with these little small brush strokes, but this I like, so let me put this on first. nails around so that if I ever get a clog I can just poke it through. I was just using this though. There we go.
All right. Like this. Laura, what are the essentials for a small studio? Um, I guess it depends. I mean, if you're, if you want to do anything, if you want to do any videos of any kind, um, you're going to need good lighting because otherwise everything tends to be really dull, even on the sunniest day, if you have windows. Um, if it's just you to create, you don't need great lighting, but I would still say, you know, some kind of light so that you can work well and know what you're painting so you don't end up with different colors when you bring it into daylight. Um, are you thinking like what essentials are like with paint or like with a setup? Obviously desks help things. Um, I mean, I don't really use a ton of brushes, so I'm, you know, as terms of supplies go, you know, I just need a couple color shapers, a few brushes, um, a decent water bucket so that you're not needing to go upstairs and refill all the time, cup of tea, <laughs> key. Let me think. I really like having butcher paper, which is what this white paper is, and I have a big roll of it. Now you don't need to have a gigantic roll of it, um, which I do have a gigantic roll. But if you have some, it's really nice to be able to put it on your desk and then it protects whatever you're working on, your working surface, and it's really easy to just take off whenever you want and you have a brand new clean desk ahead of you or in front of you. So for what it's worth, I would put that on the list. Even if you just get a small one, supplies. Um, I would say, you know, get some paints of your favorite colors. You really only need, need, need like one kind of set of primaries. I tend to stay away from the cadmiums, so cadmium red and cadmium yellow are very popular, but they're also full of heavy metals, which I just, I feel like art supplies in general are probably more toxic than those of, than what we should be around. So if it's actually a heavy metal, I really tend to stay away from it. Um, so instead of that, I use pyrrole red, and I use... Hansa yellow, or you can use yellow ochre if you like, you know, depending on if you want bright, bright rainbow true colors or just kind of some off colors. They both do different things. Yellow ochre is more of a mustardy color. Oh, June, I'm sorry you're stuck in bed. Oh, that's such a bummer. What if you, can you get yourself like a, well, first of all, I guess are your hands hurting? Is that what hurts? Because that's different if it, if it is, because my hands hurt a lot, um, or often. If you can get yourself even a sketchbook and some colored pencils or crayons, I mean, don't underestimate that. You can do a lot with those, with little, little bits of supplies here and there. So hopefully you can get your hands on something like that even when you're in bed and still enjoy yourself, but I'm sorry that you're laid up. Um, what else in terms of supplies? If you wanna do collage, I would get some gloss medium or matte medium. They do the same thing. Gloss is shiny, matte is not shiny. Um, I used to use matte, now I use gloss. I don't really know why. It's just the way it worked out. <clears throat> um, I should ask you guys, what, what do you guys need for supplies? I'm pretty, I have a ton of supplies for better or worse. Well, for better, because when I was working my corporate job, um, I was very unhappy in that job. 
but I made decent money and I was single at the time, so I stayed in it. And I gave myself, the rule I set up for myself to make going to work less torturous was that I would not have a budget for my art supplies. And since I had no children at the time, I had no husband, and you know, a reasonably small uh, budget that I needed to stick to, I bought tons of art supplies. So I probably have enough art supplies in here for the next 25 years. Some might argue too many if that's possible because they're all different things that I rarely use. Yeah, need and want are very different, you're right. Paper and glue, that's key for collage. Um, hmm, I'm trying to think of some things that I would be really upset if I didn't have. I mean, right, for me it's a color shaper. I use these all the time. I really like them for collage, too. Um, yeah, water bucket, some paints. Um, if you want something disposable, you can get those uh, paper palettes. So then every time, whenever the paint dries, you just get rid of it and start fresh the next time. Super easy cleanup that way. Coming into a strange, I'm picturing water down here, and here's like a shoreline with some reeds and grasses that have turned beige in the fall. This might be interesting. Oh, it's your back. Oh, I'm sorry, June. I did not fully understand the um, just the how how debilitating it can be when your back goes out until my back went out um, probably about ten years ago. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, you can't really do anything. So I hope that you are feeling much better soon, and hopefully you have people good people around to take care of you and bring you what you need. Alright, I'm not sure I like this, but we're going to try it. If anyone's seen the movie Zoolander, um, <laughs> it's very silly. It's with Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson from like the late 90s or early 2000s and uh, I love that movie at one point it's like this it's about the world of male models and it's a, just a slapstick comedy at one point this very serious model says like oh who cares it's only fashion and every time I get too precious with my art I try to think it's okay it's only art who cares of course we care, and then we try to not care, and then we care again. I need to clean out my collage boxes. It's getting a little bit ridiculous. And as my pieces get smaller, they go down to the bottom. And it's harder and harder for me to find them. So that in itself becomes a project. Oops, need more.
this is um, the second year my mom is going to be able to come over for Christmas as our one of our neighbors so she lives very close now she used to live about an hour away hour hour and a half away and I am so happy that I don't have to worry about her being an hour away with a blizzard coming that you know worst case scenario I can literally walk to her house and walk back with her if needed so it's nice to not have to worry about her for a change I don't worry about her tremendously she's you know very capable but it's just nice when I know that she can come over I don't have to wonder if she'll make it All right, I'm really liking this color scheme I've got going I was gonna add some reds but I don't even know I might just add some quinacridone gold and see what happens Yes, Curly T, I, I do too. <laughs> this was my small bin, and clearly I've been cheating, so some of these need to be reallocated. I just need to re-sort these. Maybe sometime while I'm watching TV over break. My children unfortunately have my organization sense, which is just shove things over to the side. And my poor son is so overwhelmed by the mess in his room, but also, like me, does not want to throw anything out. So, told him over break, from the break from school, that I would help him organize his room. And naturally, <laughs> I'm instantly regretting that. Just because I know it's going to be a lot of work. It'll be good for him though because he needs some some help because I know how overwhelming it seems, especially when I was a kid, when my room felt like once it got out of hand, it was impossible to clean up. However, I also need to clean up my own space. So I guess I'll be doing that when they're asleep. <clears throat> Oh, good point, June. So June mentioned, um, uh, Laura, June mentioned that you should also, you could also get like a hand, like a big roller or anything that you can use to mark with. So I keep lots of random marking things near me, sticks and whatnot. Um, I always get a bit extra and the stranger the mark, you know, stranger the marking tool generally the more cumbersome it is to store. So if you only have a small space for storage, I'd probably just stick with some basic marking tools, but you know, some markers of different thicknesses, some, maybe you want some sticks. Sponges are good, brushes are good, like this type of brush. This is like a grout brush, I think. But it has very stiff bristles and makes good marks. Here, I'll do this with that now, actually. So where do we need some marks? How about here? So it makes kind of some nice... wispy marks. trick is I need to find something that some water that it will work with and because my water is currently jammed I need to quick get some water so hang on Try it. We'll just turn to 
Not actual stone, but it'll feel like stone. Okay, I'm gonna try to warm this up a bit. Really liking these colors together more than I expected to. Dry this white quickly. You're right, I do have a lot of vertical, I mean a lot of horizontal lines right now. I think I'm going to do some marks with my pencil. Oops, wiped a little too much off. So it's warming it up, but it's still really close to the same Right, the same color that I've got going on here. So I'm not convinced it looks that different, which is fine. But I need to find something else then to warm it up. This is my all purpose warming color. I really like this. It needs more. But there's something about these colors that's very pleasing to me right now. What else? I need some black. There's my black. <laughs> yep. I think you're right, Curly T. My trademark moves, right? <laughs> you know my secrets. <clears throat> start with some black and then maybe I'll move into some you know what I'm gonna start with bone black first so. all right so bone black is a more transparent black Also wondering what happens if I move or mix some yellow ochre with black. So let me try that. Don't 
remember what I did, what happened last time I did it. Yeah, it's kind of getting green. If you can see it, but it's this kind of brown green. Sure, I'm really interested in, but let's put a little on just to see. Yeah, not loving that color. All right, but always good to check. Thanks, Irene. You know what? I feel the ba I feel exactly the same. I feel like it's a landscape and it's in some sort of like I don't know. I don't know exactly what what world it would be. <coughs> Excuse me. Time for another cough drop. I just am picturing the sun setting. On a fall morning when the sun is, when the shadows are really long. All right, well, speaking of long shadows, There we go. Really like that. Yeah, composition is, can be tricky. I feel like I'm very much still learning about composition. And it's one of those things that sometimes you need to learn the rules to break the rules, but also um, learn the rules to use the rules. Because there's certainly a reason that people have used similar similar types of composition over the years, over the centuries. All right, I like connecting things, so I'm just gonna connect this up here just for fun. You know, when I said I was going to use bone black, and then I promptly forgot. 
because I started mixing it with the yellow ochre. So now let me add some. You can see that it's not very opaque. You can see things through it. And this is open paint, so it stays a bit longer. Which means that I can do things that I wouldn't normally be able to do. Sprayer, spray bottle, sprayer, potato, potato, hmm. Okay, so these dots show through more because the paint was still wet when I did that. careful this whole thing will be black but a bit more Um, the shape can be a focal point, color can be a focal point, really anything that you want to give attention to can be the focal point. The key is just making it jump out then. If it's not obvious, it's not going to um, be as impactful. But if you're doing lots of subtle art, then you don't have to be very impactful. <clears throat> But yeah, so if you had, like if I had this and I put something that was lime green in the middle, that would immediately be the focal point. Likewise, if I had only beige, you know, before I started adding the black and white, if it was just beige with no white and then I added white, then the white could be the focal point. Or at least one of the focal points. <coughs> Excuse me. Curly T, the black veil, you're talking about the, the bone black? It is like a black veil. All right, not sure what to do here. So let's see what I have in my bag of tricks over here. This is kind of cool. I think I'll do this. It kind of looks like a little bridge. So we'll stick with the landscape feel here. Oops. I 
Thank you, Irene. Yeah, um, the, the Bone Black, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with it. There's some times when it's exactly what I needed and sometimes I wish it was darker or lighter or um, it doesn't quite fit. But it's very unique in what it's, you know, what it's able to do. And I always appreciate that at least. picks up texture really nicely too um, in a way that other colors um, don't always that's nice even right here on the edge of this piece of collage right there's much more dark on the edge because of how the paint is getting stuck there so that's nice. It does pick up texture really nicely. And you don't lose it by having everything be, you know, if this is all black, you would lose that, that small nuanced thing. Hmm. All right, let me see what other colors I've got here. These are my Neo Color 2s. So note to myself that these will um, these will smear in water or paint. Which is fine. Just don't want to forget. So to set this, I'm going to use some gloss medium. I'm just going to do this, which sometimes works and sometimes smears everything. So it looks like I got away with it that time. If I went over it again, everything would start to smear. Because now it's wet, so now if I move it, it will see, like if I do this, you can see that now that's smearing. Hmm. Yeah, June, you know, anything that you do to um, emphasize a focal point will help you. So literally anything could be, I mean, if you made a whole like white and light, light colors, right, you could have a beige that was this light and it would still be, you know, a crazy contrast. So contrast, the higher the contrast, the more it's going to catch your eye. Like right here, between, now I have this orange here, so that's a little pop of color and then these black and white stripes that are big. So right now, this is probably my main um, focal point. The black also is a, a draw, but because I have these white in here too, it's probably right here. black for what I want. papers from school every once in a while my kids catch me and they're like wait a second that's my math homework I'm like oh whoops so it is 
But the reality is I was going to recycle it anyway, so they just don't know that part. I do keep a massive amount of schoolwork. However, even my sentimentality, sentimentality uh, ends somewhere because we have so much paper in our house. Hmm. So I'm thinking now, do I want to add this? And if so, is it going to kind of take over? Because, right, it's this huge white piece. But I can always add black to blend it in. I will, and I think I'm going to add some black at the bottom, or at least some bone black. To blend it. And I most likely will get busted by my children on this one because I don't think I'm going to hide it. Whoops. Oh, you're welcome, June. The neat thing about art is that I feel like everyone's always learning. There's always more to learn. Because <laughs> should you think I have everything figured out, you would be sorely mistaken. Every day there's new stuff, and that's a lot of the reason that art is so captivating because there's always more to learn. If you switch styles, if you try a new color palette, there's always something else going on. I think this is definitely becoming a sunset. of sorts. All right, I like what's going on here. I like what's going on up here. I haven't touched that really. This I'm not loving. So I'm either gonna get, if I find a collage piece that magically works there, great. Like this. I'm not mad at that. Sure, why not? This just feels like it's coming from nowhere. Oh, 
All right, well, I definitely have a lot of black in here. That's for sure. I feel like I need a bit more balance. See what happens. I didn't use my spray. Just put that there. That'll work. <laughs> Hi, Amina. I think that's your name, right? Am I remembering correctly? It's good to have you here. Hmm. I do like that. I'm gonna add it over here a bit so it doesn't just stop at the halfway point. Good to see you, Amina. So impressed with myself and remembering your name. I'm terrible with names. But I'm trying to get better. All right, well. Hmm. I think I might call it, you guys. You know what, I think I need a little bit more here. Let me kind of blend this in. Make this another bridge of some sort. In my very different landscape here. Well, I think I'm going to call it here for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Amina, not to worry, this will be uploaded in the near future. But you already got the spoiler. This is what it looks like now. <laughs> Thanks, Curly T. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, if I don't talk to you before the holidays, have a wonderful um, Christmas and New Year to those who celebrate. Have wonderful Hanukkah for those who celebrate. Wonderful Kwanzaa for those who celebrate. Um, I don't know what other, if there's any other holidays I'm missing. Enjoy yourselves. I don't have the same colors all the time. I, I often do do the same colors every time, quite honestly. <laughs> so I'm branching out. But it's always, I always have my same color paints that I like. I just use them in different combinations, I think is, I think is how I do it. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day and a wonderful holiday and a wonderful new year.